Good morning, city kids. Today's story is about Jesus healing a man who was lame. Jesus was teaching in a house. A crowd of people filled the house to hear him. Then four friends came carrying a man who could not move. This crowd is too big, the four men said. So they took the man on his mat up on the roof. The four men made a hole in the roof and they lowered their friend down into the house right in front of Jesus. Jesus saw that the four men had great faith. Your sins are forgiven, Jesus told the man on the mat. Well, the teachers of the law were saying to themselves, who does Jesus think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what the teachers were thinking, and he asked them, is it easier to forgive sins or to say, rise and walk? And then Jesus told the man on the mat, stand up, take your mat and go home. The man jumped up. He picked up his mat and walked out of the house, praising God. Everyone was amazed. Jesus had healed the man on the mat, inside and out. Today's memory verse comes from Luke 5, 26. Everyone was amazed and praised God and said, We have seen a great miracle today. Student King, can we get mine? Student Mama. And Smart King. Yes. And Good Person. Happy Sabbath. Jesus heals the paralytic man craft. With Teacher King. And Teacher Gilly. First you'll need a blank piece of paper. You can use marker or crayons to make a line on the paper. When you're finished coloring, flip the paper over. Now I'll have the appearance poke four holes in it. You can tell how mine to look. It looks great. You're going to need two long pieces of string. Put them to the first set of holes like this. And then tie it up. Do, do the same thing to the other side. Don't forget to tie that side too. Now you have your hanging blanket. My dad told me it was this one. A, a dad's blanket looks nice. You can color it whatever you want. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Thanks for learning this. Hey City Kids, Teacher Allison here. Wasn't today's story so cool? The paralyzed man had such amazing friends that were willing to carry him on his mat up to the roof. Then they dug a hole through the roof and safely lowered him down so that he could meet Jesus. Everybody needs some friends like that. So today, we made little mats with Teacher Gilly and Teacher King. Thanks guys. And we will be using these mats to play a little game. Okay, so for this game, you're going to need to get yourself a magnet. I have one from the Grand Canyon. And then you're going to need something that sticks to magnets. I have some paper clips. Okay, so we are going to be building ourselves a little obstacle course. And you can make your obstacle course out of anything. Toys, blocks, food. I'm using some Girl Scout cookies. Boom. I'm going to place my paper clips throughout my course. All right, now you're gonna need to set your magnet on your mat and hold it carefully so that it doesn't slide off. This can be kind of tricky, so be careful. Now we're gonna pick up our paper clips. Ah, I got one, now I gotta go over the wall, lower down. I got my second one. Careful, careful. Hey, I got my third one and I didn't drop the magnet, AKA the paralyzed man, which is very good. 
Look at that, I collected all my paper clips. Now you can build your obstacle course however you want and however big you want. You could even use your whole house and run around just seeing what you could pick up with your magnet. But be careful, do not put your magnet close to electronics. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, City Kids. I hope you had fun. Happy Sabbath! for joining us. You can support Children's Ministry by giving online at adventistgiving.org or by mailing a donation to Glendale City Church, 610 East California Avenue, Glendale, California, 91206. Thanks! Everyone was amazed and praised God and said, we have seen a great miracle today. Luke 5, 26.